This video is brought to you by Insights, an all-in-one platform to elevate your team performance. Simply play, review, and strategize, all in real time. See why the pros use Insights to organize and review their gameplay. Get your free account today. Step into the dojo. He's a tag there on a Ivy, instantly forcing out the recall. Ball's gonna be up for I'm 37. Duke get out, the Storm Arrow's not quite getting the connection. He's gonna get nanoed up and actually finds the shot! Corey is in the house! Takes him down! Looking for a little bit more! It's gonna be another one, the Sonic Arrow the is Sonic on the Arrow. end! Takes him down, gets that go! Corey, you are a monster! Uh, I would say like in the beginning, when you first start it, you have to like really think about the muscle memory. And then eventually the muscle memory becomes natural. Learning the speed and how much you need to aim forward. Knowing that distance and knowing like how much you're charging your arrow. Knowing how far your arrow's gonna be going. Like if it's just a little short arrow, weak arrow, is it like really strong? How much damage you're, like, you're gonna be doing? Like you kind of just test it off of people, like actual people moving. Uh, like some people might say like use like AI bots or whatever, but they won't move like normal people. Something that's really important for like, Someone who's like a DPS player is reading your opponent and like reading their movement. So someone's like movements can be really like patternized. Like they'll move and then like they'll jerk back every time they move a certain distance, and it becomes like a like a pattern that they do. Still, oh my gosh, Kari! You are oh, absolutely so mad! Out of control, goes for the dragon strike, throws it in. Look at what Twilight and extensive packing! You always want to control high ground for sure. Um, if you can control it, then you just want to sit there and kind of like go at it and have fun. Uh, if people are holding it, this is when Sonic comes in and you want to kind of Sonic them beforehand and try to fight them for it and like kind of bring some people with you as well if like it's multiple people holding it. Uh, if you can to get the high ground, just be like a little sneaky dude, you know, like, like flank on the side, maybe come up and kill him from the back or, or something like that, I would say. So, uh, for example, in this meta, uh, if your Baptiste has ult, you're gonna want to save your Storm Arrow for the ult. So there is no downtime when you're charging your arrows. You can just immediately hit someone, and if you hit a squishy in the head with your Storm Arrow, you, like they'll die because you do more than 200, and like you just destroy a shield immediately, even if you're not like hurting somebody. And that in itself is a really big boost for your team because you're able to walk up and take space and potentially after breaking the shield immediately, there's someone behind it. So like there's a chance that. They just get taken out with it. So Sonic Arrow is like multi-purpose. Um, usually you would see people using it for like scouting purposes, which obviously that's what tools used for. But um, like when people are recontesting and you're holding space, you want to be able to figure out exactly where they're going so you're ready for it. If you're going to use like 366 as an example, uh, so like your first point, you're defending, you're pushing the car, it's about to hit the like the point, cap to go to second, um, and you're sitting on top of like gas, like the gas station, mm -hmm. and like usually like people will sign like the cactus like on the top instead of the sign because that's like the most common area. But you can see people if they're like splitting, it's like oh it's only this, so they're probably splitting from these two doors or something like that. I personally on attack would like to sign like the top right balcony when you're attacking on second because uh, you get to see if they're actually up there or not. Uh, you have the ability to look for like like some sneaky ult, like a Hanzo ult or something. Just, like your like options are kind of endless, with, like what you know. Um, for, like defending, like you hold the windows and you basically just like Sonic as they cross, and you could kill someone as they go by, and then their whole rotation's destroyed. So you have to go all the way back, or like sit there and wait for another like 10 seconds because someone died, and then you get them again, and you get them again, and you get them again, and then eventually like they just wasted a whole minute or two minutes and. Sitting there, just having fun. You still have all your ults. Immortality had to be feel, uh, used there as well. I think Justice didn't go 2-0 into the half man. I think you're right. Can't use him with a bio nade as well. Can't take a breather and get that health back for that period of time. Corey, it's the headshot on Hurang. This is where it starts again, Messi. Cover your eyes if you squeamish. Sansom comes in with a whole hog. It's going to be a transcendence here for Twilight. Okay, So for maximum value, you need other people for it. So like having your Arisa pull with it and kind of forcing them to use abilities. If you're not using anybody, uh, a good thing is like our Volskaya first point defense against Titans. 
they went through like the bridge, the corridor, and you can't, like you're stuck there when you're going forward. So like, you can kind of, you have, like you can definitely force something and you do a ton of damage as they go by and like you force a transcendence doing it. And it was just like pure, just by yourself. Like they're in like a tight corridor and you can't get out. So you have to use something to like survive. In terms of just anyone dominating in the meta and really kind of figuring out what's going on is, is your double Ponzo hit to hit. Dragon's trying to hit. Who breaks gonna see that comedy is not five up? Transcendence. Oh, they have to use it. And then just back on up. I see some dragon strikes that are like, um, that are just used, kind of like predicting where they're gonna be. And like, that's okay sometimes if they're like around a corner or like they're inside something and you know that. But like, if it's out in the open, don't use a dragon strike to look for a kill. Use your, like, people use their dragon strikes to like always kill someone. That's not always the case. Like, you can use it to kind of push people out of stuff, and then you can fight them, and they can't sit there anymore. The Lankers is you're gonna play more of a dive. I mean, right, those are, are it's not even a DB hit a pass. Those are a half. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. <laughs> I would say, like, this is your meta. So, gotta, gotta, let's really, really suck it in and have, like, the blast, because pretty soon it probably won't be meta. So. Really enjoy it while you still can.